came across uh, these groups of uh, Christians on the campus with an organization called Campus Crusade for Christ. And every Sunday we went for some classes. And there I learned about the basics of the Christian life, assurance of salvation, experiencing God's love and forgiveness, being filled with the Holy Spirit, and uh, that really grounded me. And so as I continued my research, I gained assurance for my own salvation, and that uh, gave me the, the, the strength to be able to explain my new faith to my friends. I enjoyed the maturity classes. Uh, my first uh, class that I thought uh, was not exactly the way I wanted it to be was uh, on witnessing in the spirit. I was not ready to share my faith with anyone else. And uh, so I, I knew I had made a mistake to, to, to go that Sunday for, for, for the class on how to witness in the spirit. But I was paired with uh, a good friend of mine, Sam, and we were to go to one of the halls of residence and uh, knock on one of the doors and uh, share our faith uh, with others. As we walked uh, towards the hall of residence, I had a secret prayer. And the prayer was that uh, the first few doors will knock on, nobody will come out. And I will be able to tell Sam, this is not the right time for this. And if I was able to get away with it, they wouldn't find me again. And we knocked on the first door, and to my disappointment, there was some movement. And then the door opened, and we were invited in to sit down. And the, the young man finally asked us, how can I help you? And uh, I was giving Sam a sign that you go first, and he was responding to me, you go first. <laughs> so finally, to, uh, to get us out of this embarrassing situation, I just said what uh, was at the back of the four spiritual laws. Have you heard of the four spiritual laws? And he said, no. So that relaxed me a little bit, and I said, uh, can we read through this? And so I read through with him, and my goal was really to get to the end of the booklet and get out. And uh, when we got to the two life circles, I asked him uh, which circle represents your life now. He said, the one on the left. And I said, which one would you like to represent your life? He said, the one on the right. I was surprised. This thing was working. <laughs> and. Uh, we went through to the next page, and he prayed and gave his life to Christ. Now that got me excited. I knew that uh, people, the, the people who were giving us this training knew what they were doing. And uh, there were a lot of people like uh, Tewia, the gentleman we shared with, uh, who needed us to come out and share the good news of Christ with them. Well, the next appointment was not exactly the same. It was the very opposite. We were not very welcome and uh, we shared what we could. They had a lot of questions, they were skeptical, and so I had both experiences on the same day. But that was the beginning of my liberation, if you like, to, to come out and confess that I had become a Christian. Uh, because after that, Sunday after Sunday, we went out sharing our faith with others. And soon, I had quite a good number of uh, friends and acquaintances who had become Christians through our personal witnessing. And so they encouraged me in my, in my new faith. And uh, we, we just had a wonderful time uh, seeing lives changed and following people up. And life as a student was exciting after coming to know the Lord.